world GWA heavyweight champion. Taking well, on Jim Proper. I'll tell you what, that's 100 percent dog shit and uh Dogs? Oh my god. I, I don't even that is gonna be Myself. I did not mean to say the words dog shit. I meant uh, dog feces. So you said it. You said it again. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, in all seriousness, here right. heavyweight championship is on the line. Champion Big Box Steel defending against James Proper, formerly the Russian Alexei Taktarov, who right. I do have a serious problem with after my interfering in my matchup. That yeah, will be that will be taken care of down the road. Sometime. Right now, the focus is the heavyweight championship of the world, Big Bob Steele versus James Proper. James Proper has a very uh, solid background in Russian Sambo, and he's working on Bob Steele's arm. He's now doing a reversal on his neck. You know, you can see James Proper is schooled in, in jiu-jitsu and all kinds of types of martial arts combat-style wrestling. So he's bringing a lot to the table with Big Bob. And it should be a very interesting contest. What do you think James Proper's chances are, MJ? The chances are very good in this matchup. These two have only met once before. Uh, Bob Steele defeated him on a qualification. They regained the heavyweight championship in the match with George, uh, the animal Steele. Right. He defeated James Proper to get to this match. Um, however, James Proper coming off a losing streak, uh, losing their intercontinental title to Alex Rivera. And the absolute phenomenal match they had here a couple of months ago in the Sports Center, yes. the rematch last month. Now he's moving up the, the attention for the heavyweight championship after getting a little help from the pit bulls. Um, it, it could be his night. However, Bob Steele always has a size advantage, power advantage, and the fans on the side. Three-time GWA World Heavyweight Champion Big Bob Steele locks it up with James Proper here at the Sports Super Center. Very large turnout for the sports super center we always have a very big crowd when we're here at the sports expo shoulder blocked by big bob i'll tell you big bob steel heavyweight champion of the gwa big bob steel right now uh right he's having a real good time in the ring obviously uh commissioner avila's that blew outside the ring for distractions. I think it's very unfair. Of course, the loser of this match, uh, not James Popper, however, if Bob Steele does lose, he has to consume dog feces, which I think is totally, absolutely disgusting. And uh, another Irish River to the ropes, tackled by James Popper, no effect whatsoever. James Popper, Duck Sunder. Big Bob takes him over, arm takeover. Does it again. Scoop slam. Nabs him. Close line by Big Bob Steele. Big Bob Steele's really mounting an offense on James Proper. James Proper is a very large, extensive, like I said before, technical background. I think Isaiah Savilas, the GWA promoter, knows that. And that's why he's kind of chosen him as, quote, unquote, his man. Well, obviously, James Popper also has a background in shoe fighting as well. So he does a lot of submission holds, a lot of martial arts attacks. But, oh, man. He hasn't really gotten a chance to use him, though, yet against Big Bob. But Big Bob hasn't really gotten a chance, uh, given uh, Proper a chance to actually mix it up that way. I'll tell you what, since he uh, 
is, was formerly uh, Alexi Kasparov. Oh, oh man. Come in the hard way. Uh, right, right on his butt, actually. Since he uh, is no longer uh, Alexi Kasparov, he's been a lot more, you know, less focused on his match. Ooh, that's close, man. Ever since the Alex Rivera match, he's been less focused on his match. Uh, he hasn't been as focused as he has been. Maybe this is his shot to regain the focus and ability that he's had once before. Beautiful backdrop. Big Bob Big made a cardinal mistake there and Popper capitalized upon it. Popper, this might be the chance for Popper to make some kind of build upon some kind of offense that he, he hadn't been able to do in the earlier goings. Smash to the face by Popper. Forearm to the back. Irish Rupert across the ropes now. Reversal by Big Bob Steele. Nice blue ball by Tim Popper. Kicks in the midsection. Popper across the ropes. Pop slam. Beautiful by Big Bob Steele. Popper, one, two. That was so close. And it's a two count. Take nothing away from Popper. That's He's going to give it his own. Close line. There's Popper on the outside. Bob's coming out after him. Bob Steele making his bid to retain the GWA World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Referee Brian Logan putting the count to the two opponents here. Uh-oh. This Popper. Oh, man. He was going right on the ring railing. Took into his quadricep muscle. As Isaiah Savilas looks on with his man, Psycho Ward's around again. I'm just going to call him Psycho Ward because it's basically what he looks like. Well, Mr. Keys picked out steel. Oh, for a pull ball. Shoulder right into the ring post. And now, chair to the head. That was a vicious chair shot by very vicious chair shot. The Commissioner Avilas is putting on gloves now. Obviously feeling very confident to, uh, uh, I'm not even going to say it's totally disgusting. It's totally wrong. It does not belong in pro wrestling. Stipulations like that are disgusting. Hey, wait a minute, was that a somersault senton by James Proper? That was a senton splash by... Yeah, by Bob, which you don't usually see. I'm a little in shock myself that I saw that by him. Well, definitely I haven't seen that move by him before. Normally he doesn't take to the, uh, doing moves like that, but obviously it took a break off, oh, man. Actually, I got to correct that. It was a, uh, it was a, a moonsault, actually. That was right to one of our security guards. For the cover, one, two. Ah, oh, so close. Two count. Proper. Jeez, we almost had a new GWA World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Referee Brian Logan telling Proper to break the chokehold, working on vicious punches to the forehead by working Proper. Working on the uh, laceration that Bob has right over his head. Bob Steele is busted wide open. And the champion's looking a little dazed. I hope he can come back. Scoop slam with authority by Proper. Nice for uh, showing his uh, muscles. <laughs> put his mind back in the wrestling. Leg drop. One, two. Bob gets the shoulder oh, So up. close. Uh, close, but uh, he wouldn't have got it. That was a really arrogant cover by uh, yeah, see, James I, Proper. Proper, I really don't like the new attitude. Of, well, it's actually not really a new attitude. He's always been somewhat of a, a rule breaker, but now I think he's gotten even more arrogant, if that's possible. Next snap by Proper. You know, Seth, uh, it seems like even since he dropped the Tech Tarot off uh, Mystique, 
he seems like he's more arrogant, more pompous than they was before. Definitely he is. And, uh, I don't know. That's the submission background we were talking about. Yes. That's yeah. what he's learned in, from his uh, combat sports background. Submission type wrestling maneuver. Trying to chuck him out, put him to sleep. Well, to no avail, obviously. Commissioner Arena's at ringside with those gloves on. Obviously, Bob Steele's in trouble in this match. Oh, vicious kick to the back. Drop kick to the back. The champion's looking a little worse for wear. Bob Steele tries to get to his feet as Proper brings him up. Pour him to the back. Vicious chops to the chest. Yes, very vicious. Set up. Mid to the midsection. I, Isaiah looks like he's a little happy, doesn't he, uh, Mr. Avila? I, I don't know about uh, Mr. Avila, but nice double arm suplex. Looks like Bob may have landed right on top of his head. So yeah. like a double arm DDT brain buster, I guess you could call that one. But uh, Mr. Avila is uh, looking at his approval, looking very happy with what he sees. And, Here oh. we go. It's a dragon submission hold by Proper. I guess you could uh, a full Nelson with the legs into a. Um, I guess you say side arm bar. Obviously working on the head and the neck. He could be setting him up for the proper flex, which is that vicious fisherman buster like suplex, which is taking uh, many of the GWA stars out. Proper setting up there it is. There it is. Oh man. That's it. It's over. He's done. Proper flex right there and uh, Bob Steele. And the round top of his head. This rubber going to the top rope. Ross is putting a little bit. Bob still getting up. I can't believe Bob still's on his feet. Bob Steele. Oh man. Taking it to proper. Could be a gut wrench. He's going to belly into a tiger bomb. Two. Whoa. Oh, what, was what, was, uh, what was that that Isaiah Savilas was trying to do there? Was he trying to grab the referee? I don't know what he's trying to do, but uh, I'll tell you what, near fall right there, gut wrench into a... There's no reason why those three should be at ringside there. They, you know what they're doing there. They want to see Bob Steele lose. They no reason being there. The reversal. Russian leg speed. to a submission. This is a very vicious submission. The Mexican wrestlers use it down in Mexico. And after being dropped on his head with the proper play, that double arm brain buster. The only way that Bob Steele could possibly get out of this, he's trying as if he somehow works his head out of the, under the leg of Proper. Well, but he's got it ropes. locked in, he's got it cinched in so hard. Well, he's, it, to, he's in the ropes now. That was the only way he could have broke that. Otherwise, you might be looking at a new uh, GWA World Heavyweight Champion. Well, that could be the possibility here, but like I said, Big Box has come back from adversity before. And that's reversal by Big Box Steel. Kick to the midsection. Bob Steele has him up. Suplex, no. He has him up. First his leg sweep. And again in that submission hole. Smart move by James Hopper going back in that submission hole once again. Referee Brian Logan asking Bob Steele if he wants to give it up. Two. He's out! He's out! We got a new GWA World Heavyweight here in the new
James Bobber. We got a new champ. I don't believe it. James Bobber is the new GWA World Heavyweight Champion. And the man has a smile on his face. And he, I'm in, I'm in shock. And Isaiah is happy, of course. But I, I can't believe that. We have, but James Bobber, the new GWA World Heavyweight Champion. I think the fans are in shock here. They, they, they Big Bob, but right now, Big Bob Steele. And now they're going to run an insult to injury on Bob Steele. They're putting uh, the dog, uh, you know what, in Bob Steele's mouth. This is disgusting. You know, the guy just lost the title. We don't need to see this. There's no reason for this at all. Isaiah's got what he wanted. That's enough. Oh, that's disgusting. That is totally disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. James Proper, the GWA World Heavyweight Champion. New GWA World Heavyweight Champion. Well, new heavyweight champion. Big box. Oh, man. That's a shame. It definitely is a shame, but, uh... I mean, it's a shame for Big Bob Steele. It is a shame for Big Bob Steele. Popper uh, is in his element here. James Popper once again has a title. What the? Wait a minute. What the? What's going on here? He just... Wait a minute! Abyss is it again! Oh, man! The proper slam! What the is going on here? Formerly known as Iberia Slam! The proper slam! Proper? I thought he was aligned. You know, we were thinking he was aligned with I thought he was Steel. He was like Bob Steele. What's going on here? This doesn't What's make the, any wait sense Wait a minute, there's a pitbull. The pitbull. Here comes a pitbull. What are the pitbulls doing here? Well, I just see the pit bulls. Ah, they're lining, lining themselves with the pit bulls. Old, they come from the old training school, old time friends. Definitely Popper and the pit bulls. They're now working over Big Bob Steele. Oh, man! Chuck, 
here on Jane. Last 10 minutes, we've seen James Proper become the new champion. I don't feel good about this at all. I'm getting butterflies in my stomach. Bob's still, Bob's still disgusted. He's disgusted. Wait a minute. We got some guys coming out here. There's Tequila. There's Rampage. They're trying to protect the GWA from this old ECW. Oh, man. In the past 10 minutes, we've seen a new GWA World Heavyweight Champion. We've seen James Popper turn on Isaiah Zagoras. And we've seen the Pitbulls start a new stable of sorts with James Proper. I'll tell you, that's the most mind-blowing 10 minutes I've seen. And we just think that feel like you become a victim of Splash Mountain. Just... I'll tell you what, I feel is... the man Bingo Warrior. As you were saying, we have a new heavyweight champion. Obviously, big, big time steal or could not stand with Commissioner. Then all of a sudden, uh, Commissioner Bill thought he had an ace up his sleeve. It didn't work out that it way. It didn't work out that way. And he finally got screwed over by James Popper, the Pitbull, and all people, Johnny Cisco. the hood, the Bandago Warrior made the save, but for right now, it's really not a victory for the GWA, as the OECW original exciting championship wrestling is in the, the ring. That's in the ring. Man, oh man, I'll tell you what, uh, they're just getting started tonight. I don't know. I, I guess I it's, it's it's exciting to see a new GWA World Heavyweight Champion, but I'm just wondering. We only have a couple weeks left in the year. Will it still be the GWA or will it be old ECW? Well, I'll tell you what. 1999 has a definite answer for that. As uh, Commissioner Valens, he he's, he's made enemies with everybody. He's lucky to have these guys come and save his promotion, save his ass, literally. Now he has to worry about OECW, the Pitbulls, James Proper, Johnny Cisco, and who knows who hell else, else could be in the OECW. I tell you what, 1999 is going to be the mark, the mark year for the GWA, but it could be the last year for the GWA. If OECW takes over, we'll have to wait and see. You know, Isaiah Savila started out having his own, trying to form his own organization within GWA. Now he's a man on a separate island, and he might have to rely on the people that he, quote unquote, screwed over for so long in the Himalaya players and the Mandingo Warrior. So well, they were going to make strange bedfellows. We'll have to see what happens. Well, definitely, I'll tell you what, as the Himalaya players get the accolades, from the fans, as Kwame, as oh, they exit the ring, Himalaya players, uncrowned tag team champions of the world, will get their shot. But obviously right now, right now, I'll tell you what, uh, this old ECW thing is... Uh, yeah, it's got me perplexed. I don't know where they're going with this. Really I don't know where they're going with it either. But I'll tell you what, we have to wait and see. Yeah. Well, it's been an exciting night. It has been one hell of a night here at the big year-end blowout for the Grand Wrestling Alliance. I 
I'll tell you what, tonight was a night of unbelievable matches. Uh, we had uh, Dungeon and Brian Bundy go nuts on each other. We had the NBC wrestlers and the reformation of the CMB. You know, uh, we saw O-Dog uh, become, say to the fans, I don't really care about you too much anymore. We've seen the reformation of CMB, and we've seen a new GWA World Heavyweight Champion in James Proper. Definitely new GWA Heavyweight Champion. We'll have to wait and see. But I'll tell you what, uh, 1998 has been a great year for the Grand Wrestling Alliance, and 1999 will be the year the Grand Wrestling Alliance goes on the national map of professional wrestling on its way to worldwide status. This is MJ Wright uh, here with John Mark Havish. I want to wish all of you a great rest of 1998. We will see you in 1999. Uh, I want to say what's up to Double Andrew Aaron, who couldn't be here tonight, but he's always in our thoughts. Uh, any last comments? Just to say that, once again, the Sports Super Center didn't disappoint. A lot of people came out. A lot of people went home very happy. A lot of exciting action. One of the more violent uh, shows that I've seen in quite some time. Could be in Tennessee for the Grand Wrestling Alliance in 1999. As always, we thank you fans for supporting the Grand Wrestling Alliance. As always, be safe. Peace out. See you in 1999. Take care. Check out the official website of the GWA. Here are all the latest results and news of the Grand Wrestling Alliance. Don't be left out. Bookmark us at www.grandwrestling.com.